Hello, I'm Renaud from Momentance and uh, welcome to this Corgi Engine tutorial about inventory and weapons. Um, starting in version 4.0 of the Corgi Engine, you also get the Inventory Engine, which is a separate asset sold on the Unity Asset Store, and I decided to include it into uh, the Corgi Engine as a thank you uh, to all the people who've bought it over the years now. and. Uh, I think it, it, it adds even more value to the Corgi engine because it now allows you to create inventories, items, store them, collect them, um, use ammo in weapons, stuff like that. Um, it also comes with uh, two specific demos. They are located into minimal and they are features inventory and features weapons. Uh, both levels are tied together in that they share the same inventory and uh, let's maybe start by just uh, going over them quickly. So uh, I'm in the features inventory uh, demo right now and uh, it goes over everything you need to know about inventories. Um, maybe one thing I will do first is reset my inventories because I have saved games and that can be done using the menu here more mountains, reset all saved inventories. So now if I go back, I have my rectangle character and as the prompts here will tell you, you can now have an inventory uh, and you can open it using I or the select button on an Xbox. And here we have a pickable item. Uh, if I collect it, I now see a chicken in my inventory and I have explanations on that. Um, in this tutorial, I won't go over the details of how to create an inventory and how to create items. I have a separate inventory engine tutorial for that. It's uh, completely valid even if you're using the Corgi engine. Uh, here I will only uh, talk about the specifics of the Corgi engine and the inventory engine used together. So another pickable item, uh, it's a teddy bear and I can drop it. Uh, using this button and uh, oh, dropped it too close to myself and uh, it adds it back to the scene. Um, we also have steam packs which are like usable items and uh, as you can see my health right now is quite low so uh, if I click on it you see that my health is now a bit higher. Uh, we have coins basically the same thing as the coins you had before in, in the Kogi engine. Uh, they add points to your score and now they also appear in the inventory. Um, we also have a time modifier which uh, is another usable item like the steam packs and if I use it it triggers uh, you know uh, some some sort of time modification uh, which has a duration and a time scale impact. It's basically the same thing again as the previously existing time modifier but now you can you know, store it and use it whenever you feel like it. Um, so yeah the inventory engine allows you to collect items and some of them are usable. And if we go to the next level which is focused on weapons you will see that it also allows you to uh, equip some weapons. So here in front of me is a machine gun. If I collect it, it appears inside my inventory and you see that it comes with uh, some bullets. We'll go over that soon. Um, and the fun thing is that I can now equip uh, it. And as I equip it, uh, it appears inside my uh, permanent uh, weapon inventory. Uh, you can also see that I went from one level to the other and uh, I still have my chicken, uh, teddy bear and coins inside my inventory. Um, and now I have a, a weapon, so it's a machine gun, and if I shoot, you see that it decreases my uh, ammo count, uh, which is here. I have these targets that I can shoot at, and they respawn at uh, like uh, 5 seconds, I think. And so I can, you know, destroy them, and I, I can, you know, practice shooting. Um, my ammo count is getting low. Uh, I only have 12 bullets left, but if I collect these, you see that I now have quite a lot. 
they stack uh, in piles of 100 and I can see them in my inventory. I can also grab a grenade launcher, which is a new weapon and I can uh, see it in my inventory here. It comes with a few uh, grenades and I can decide to equip it, in which case it replaces my, uh, my currently equipped weapon. And oh, this one requires a gamepad. I'll see if I can switch to a gamepad to show you how it works. Yes. Um, so this one um, allows you to aim using the secondary stick of your gamepad. I'm using a, an Xbox pad and I can shoot grenades so if I decide to aim properly. Uh, you see I have these grenades that uh, kind of bounce and explode after a certain time. They also like um, flicker. Uh, it's hard to see if with all the explosions, but they flicker uh, before exploding. It's really fast. Click up, boom. Um, so I can, you know, go into my inventory and select another weapon and switch it back. But I can also use a shortcut. Uh, on my gamepad, it's um, LB, and on the keyboard, it's T. And you can change that, of course. Uh, then we have the shotgun. So the shotgun can. Um, what does it do? Yeah, you, you can aim it using the, um, the arrows or uh, the left stick, so it makes you move in at the same time, and you can shoot with it. Uh, it hits the same bullets as the machine gun, so you can have ammo shared uh, throughout your, your weapons. And uh, this one uses three bullets per shot, because you, as you can see, it shoots uh, three bullets. and. Once you're done, uh, I'm, I'm clicking you. I, I guess you don't have the sound, but uh, there's like a no ammo sound that you can customize. And uh, if I want to, to shoot again, I need to reload because it's like a shotgun, so you only get two shots. So uh, to do that, I click on RB and I think it's R on the keyboard. And as you can see, my, my uh, magazine is now full with six new bullets and I can shoot again. And I'm going to reload again and shoot more targets. And finally, we have the rocket launcher, uh, which used to be uh, in the engine already. And this one aims with the mouse, just to show you all the aiming possibilities. And I'm really bad at this. Oh, yeah, got one. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it for um, weapons and uh, that demo level. So how does it all work and how can you use the inventory in your own games? Um, so again, uh, you should check out the inventory engine demo and uh, documentation, which are uh, available on the inventory engine website. Uh, I'll put the link in the, the, the description. There's also a video tutorial for that. Um, so everything you'll need is inside this, this folder. These are the, the core classes. There's also a specific demo, uh, which don't use the, the Kogi engine at all. Uh, it's like a minimal uh, a Zelda-like uh, controller uh, that will allow you to, it's really basic, it's just movement inside a, a square. Um, but that, that allows you to see that it works for all kinds of, of games, not just the Kogi engine. Um, the specifics for the Kogi engine will be found inside the minimal demo scene and uh, not there. Here uh, you'll see some, some items. Uh, so these are the uh, scriptable object instances of the items. And if you want to see the scripts uh, that correspond to that, um, they are inside common scripts and inventory engine items. So we have four uh, different item classes, uh, in addition to the base, uh, I think it's called base item uh, class, which just creates items uh, that don't do anything special, just collectibles like the coins here. Um, actually not the coins, the they're points, but uh, the teddy bear and uh, the chicken are base classes, uh, base items. And uh, so here we have the health, points, time modifier, weapon. Again, uh, the dedicated inventory engine tutorial goes over how they work, but uh, let's open one and you'll see what it does. 
I'm going to open the, the weapon, close the other classes. Um, so as you can see, the inventory engine weapon is an inventory item. Uh, it has an equipable weapon and uh, when you pick it and actually equip it, not when you pick it, but when you equip it, uh, if it's not null and if you have an, an owner, um, the we'll call the character handle weapons method change weapon and use the one provided. Uh, so it's really, really simple. You can create all sorts of items. Um, I think these ones should get you started. Um, if you want to, to have usable items, uh, you can see the uh, health inventory engine health item. What it does is it takes a health bonus and when you use it, uh, it uses the character health method, uh, well, the health method actually to give you health. So it, it's really simple to create this. All you need to know is that you, you need to override uh, actions. And the actions that are at your disposal are um, well, let's let's find out. Oh, I forgot the, the list. Um, here they are. So you can override pick, use, equip, unequip, swap, and drop, uh, which are called by the inventory engine when you pick an item, use an item, and so on. And uh, this will allow you to create, you know, effects. Uh, another thing that is specific to the Kogi engine implementation is. Uh, and I'm going to go back to my features weapon scene, for example, and go back to scene view, um, level items. So yeah, for example, the, the bullet pickers. Uh, so they are sprite renderers because uh, we need to see something on them. We have a box collider that will let us know when the player is actually picking them. Uh, but you can add also stuff that is uh, specific to the Corgi engine, like auto-respawn, uh, which will make them respawn in your scene uh, when you die, for example. Uh, then you have the item picker, which is really part of uh, the inventory engine, and that's why you will bind your scriptable object instance. Uh, you can decide on the quantity, and you can also use the classic uh, pickable item class, which doesn't uh, relate to the inventory, but uh, which will allow you to have uh, an effect associated to it, uh, which is like the explosion that you get when you pick it, and a sound effects. Um, what else? Yeah, that there's the old um, ammo part. So um, if we go into the weapons, there have been a few changes. So uh, I'm going to go into my minimal prefabs weapons folder. Uh, and here you'll find regular weapons, uh, which used to be in the engine already, except for the grenade launcher and the shotgun, which are new. Um, and these ones still work. Uh, you don't have to use an inventory if you're using the Kogi engine. You, it's just an option. Um, so uh, let's look at the minimal machine gun, for example. Uh, it's still a projectile weapon. Uh, it doesn't have anything special uh, to it related to the inventory, it's just the regular one. Um, if we look at the shotgun though, uh, you'll see that uh, we have a few new fields here related to the magazine. And uh, previously uh, you would be able to collect a weapon uh, and it would auto-equip because you didn't have an inventory and uh, you would have like infinite ammo. Now, uh, without an inventory, you still have infinite ammo, but uh, you can have the option to have magazines. And uh, these will allow you to like reload after a few shots. Uh, you can define the magazine size, uh, whether or not you want to auto-reload, which means that uh, if you should add something and don't have any ammo left, you can click the, the shoot button again and it will reload for you, or you can uh, unclick that and it will uh, require that you press the reload button. Uh, you can define the reload time. Of course, uh, this goes with um, start, uh, during and stop animation parameters for the reload. So uh, it works just like the other uh, weapon animation parameters. And uh, so you can have you know, lots of different animations uh, that you can time and you can decide on the number of ammo that is consumed per shot. And uh, then we have the ammo-based weapons. 
So they're basically the same thing. I'm gonna open the, the machine gun, uh, actually select it. And uh, if I select my machine gun with ammo, I have my projectile weapon class, which is basically the same as before. Uh, the object puller that will allow me to actually shoot. And my uh, weapon ammo here. Yeah, so I'm gonna close the other ones. So the weapon ammo, uh, what it does is it specifies uh, the ID of the item I want to use as ammo. Uh, I specify the inventory where I'm going to store this ammo. In this case, it's main inventory and uh, the maximum ammo I can have. And in this case, it's 150. Uh, that number is important because that's the one that will be displayed right here uh, below my below my um, my weapon. So um, because the, the weapon needs to know how how high you could go in terms of ammo to, to show you if you're kind of low or high and it will also reflect on that progress bar here and uh, whether or not you should uh, you know load on start which means that when you when you pick ammo uh, should it like uh, load the ammo inside the magazine uh, creating ammo is simple uh, you can oh sorry uh, for example, here I have my uh, minimal grenade. Uh, in this case, it's a bit special because it has a, st a thrown object and uh, a bomb effect. But uh, if we look at uh, a more simple one like uh, the projectile for the machine gun, uh, it has a projectile damage on touch and health, uh, which means that it can be killed uh, while you know flying through the air. Uh, it will apply damage when touching something and uh, it moves like a projectile. So it has a phase direction, speed, acceleration, stuff like that. The classic stuff. Um, uh, as you're using, or if you're using the Kogi engine, you'll be able to create item pickers. Uh, item pickers are like this stuff, uh, stuff that you put into your scene and when the character goes on it, it can you know pick it and actually put it inside in its inventory. Uh, it's really special. Here you have like a recap of what the item does, but um, by default when you add it, it looks like that and it will require you to put an instance of a scriptable object item. Uh, they are located inside the resources folder, not prefabs but resources because uh, they need to be accessed at runtime and so uh, in this case for my chicken I would just put uh, a sprite renderer with the image of a chicken uh, box collider 2d and I would drag and drop my chicken into it and I can also decide that I have uh, I get five chicken when I uh, collect it and if I manage to go this far so in my inventory right now I only have one because uh, inventories are saved uh, from before but if I collect this one I now have one two three four five more chicken it's also important to know that uh, as I said uh, inventories are saved throughout levels um, they are saved uh, by the managers already in place and when you decide to go from one scene to the other but you can also decide to trigger events um, to save and load uh, this is all explained in the documentation. Uh, it's a one-liner, really just one line of code to just say, hey, save all my inventories. So you can have, for example, a menu uh, in your GUI that will trigger the save explicitly. Um, yeah, that covers pretty much you need, everything you need to know about uh, the inventory engine used in the Corgi engine uh, and the new weapon stuff. I hope you learned something new today and I'll see you next time. Bye.